Hello, my beautiful artists. So we are going to be drawing Randy after we read Randy, the badly drawn, nope, beautiful horse. Oh, it shows us how to draw it for later. How perfect. How do they get from seven to eight? Hmm. Randy, the beautiful horse for mom. All right. Mom, look, I drew a beautiful horse. He is beautiful. Great job, dear. I am a beautiful horse. Everyone loves me. What's his name, honey? I will call him Randy. Randy must be the most refined, sophisticated name, reserved only for the most special of creatures. Randy likes to run. My gorgeous mane blows in the breeze. My long, elegant legs glide across the ground. My silky coat gleams and sparkles in the bright sunlight. My perfect smile lights up the sky. <laughs> Randy is so proud of himself. All that running made Randy hungry. Ignore the squiggly lines and gurgly noises. Everything is fine with my stomach. Randy is a good chef, just like me. I am a great chef. My culinary creation should be served at a five-star restaurant. <laughs> Uh-oh. Randy made a mess. Mm. What did he make? Randy cleans up. Wait a second. I didn't make this mess. But I suppose I could help you clean it up. Now Randy is going to be a hero on an adventure. This is more like it, a valiant quest of courage. Surely I am destined for greatness. He travels up a mountain, but he gets stuck. Whoop! I'm okay. I, I'm not stuck. Everything is fine. Just one minute. Who would put such a trap in the middle of a book? Got stuck in the book up the mountain. Pop! Randy keeps going. Finally, I've freed myself from the mighty crevice. Through the forest, I must press on. I am, after all, a hero on a voyage to an unknown destination. And the desert. Sun is so hot. So thirsty. He keeps going. Are we there yet? And going. This is ridiculous. I've ha had just about enough of this adventure. Randy finally arrives. Phew, I need a drink. Randy goes to the water to take a big drink. Wait a second. Who is that? Is that me? I'm not beautiful at all. Where's my gorgeous mane? Where are my long, elegant legs? My coat isn't silky or gleaming, and it's certainly not sparkly. My smile doesn't even light up the sky. All this time, I thought I was a majestic and beautiful horse? How can this be? Randy did it. Did what? He is a good adventurer. Wait, I am? I love Randy, my beautiful horse. You do? I am beautiful, aren't I? Oh. Oh, now it's our turn to draw him. All right, now we're going to draw our very own Randy. We're going to follow the same steps as the book does, actually. We're going to try this out. Is it okay to make a mistake? Absolutely it is. All right. Grab your pencils and your paper. Mr. Core is going to use a Sharpie as always. And here's the first lines. These are his two back legs. And I notice I stopped right here. I'm going to start the belly. There's the belly. So two wavy 
long legs and the belly line. It's okay if you make a mistake, you have an eraser. Here are the two front legs to the same wavy line. So he has four legs. Good job. All right, let's move on. Let's make his back all the way up and kind of go up for a little bit for his head, but leave room for his head. I'm going to go back over that back line one more time. Oh my goodness, it's a horse without a head. Let's make his ear. Ear right here. It's like a little rainbow line for his ear. Easy peasy rainbow line. We're professionals at that, on these by now. All right, next we're gonna draw the head. Here we go, watch Mr. Cora. Here we go. There's my head. Yours is not going to look just like Mr. Cora's. If it did, that would be boring. Make yours a little different. It's okay if your lines don't look like mine. All right, let's make some little feet. We're gonna add some details now. So I'm making a line on each of his feet or hooves. All right. We're gonna add that collar. So a line here and a line here, just like a dog collar. And then a little circle or oval right here. Remember, Mr. Cora will send this link out for you to watch later if you need to rewatch. All right, little line here for his ear detail. We need some hair, so let's make some or actually, just kidding, Mr. Cora is going to make his eyes first. <laughs> Here are his eyes. They're just two circles right next to each other. Now we're going to make the hair. <laughs> Here are some rainbow lines connected to one another to make it look like he has some curly hair right up top. You can make your hair different if you'd like to. It does not have to look like mine. I add a second ear behind his hair. You can add a second ear if you'd like to. Now his eyes. Add another detail, give them those pupils in the middle. Just little dots. And a smile. So I make this shape for his smile. Looks like a jelly bean or a banana or something. And then you add some lines in the middle too. I add three lines. You can watch me. One, two, and three. Oh man, it's looking like Randy. He has some blushing cheeks too, so I make ovals by his eyes. Of course, you don't have to add that if you don't like to. And now we need to finish his long, beautiful hair, his mane. And it's the same curly lines that I made before, rainbow lines that are attached over and over again and changing the size until it comes down to his back. So I stop about the middle of his back. Practice this. Erase it if you mess up because it's okay to make mistakes. We can try again or we can make it different. does not have to look like Mr. Cora's. His tail. A wavy line. And then it co comes back to his bottom. 
Oh my goodness, look at Randy. And now we can also add some texture, some more lines within his tail. Oh my goodness, look at our Randy. I'm going to snap my fingers to show you how I colored Randy. Do you have to do the same colors as me or the book? No, you can make up your own colors too. It's totally up to you. I wrote Randy and then I wrote Miss Decor to sign my name. Here we go. Oh my goodness, look at Miss Decor's Randy. I'm so excited to see your Randy. Oh my goodness. 